So we are here at the Miss Black America Atlanta pageant and we are here with Stevie Baggs Jr. Yes, All right, so what brings you out tonight? Well, um, the 100 Black Men of America, we're, we are um, helping sponsor and partner with this or event and organization to come give back some time and energy and encourage these young ladies in their quest. You know? So what do you think about having five reigning queens and uh -huh. what does Miss Black America bring to that conversation? Well, I think the pageantry that uh, we possess as a people is not really celebrated in the education system and political systems and every system that we deal with in the five power structure. So to see that represented uh, at a universal level is, is tremendous. And, uh, you know, once we find out our worth as a people, I think we'll start carrying ourselves a, a little differently. Um, we're opulent people. You know, in elementary school, they teach you about Harriet Tubman and, and Frederick Douglass, but they say nothing about Mansa Musa. So you only know about the slave side of you. You never hear about the royal side of you. So once we start doing that and we have these type of pageants to talk about the opulence that we possess as a people, I think it, it, it holds us to a higher standard. Every time I see the Queens, I just want to put Miss Black America's picture right next there to them. We had a chance to interview them, and actually we're a national media partner, uh, A Dash Fire Magazine, with Miss Black America. So we're proud to be here. So just on a personal, what you what you got going on now? Gosh, uh, so many great things. I just uh, wrote my second book called Woke, and it's a dictionary for the conscious mind. I have just recorded on uh, a new TV series called Underground. The Underground Railroad with uh, Barry Jenkins. Um, I just did Cobra Kai, which is on TV. I mean, I have a bunch of television film, <clears throat> bunch of television film projects coming out. Um, one called The Sauce uh, on Netflix. Another one called Take the Meat and Leave the Bones. Another one called um, I keep the name of that that last one. But a, a, a number of projects coming out uh, that is really going to help shed light on. Um, changing the consciousness and changing the wave of thinking of the people and so it's a it's universal um, it's a universal perspective it's a spiritual perspective and a lot of people ask me well Stevie are you a, are you a black activist and I say no I'm a spiritual activist and I'm, I'm, I'm I've seen so many people suffer from STDs these spiritually transmitted diseases okay. that we're dealing with and, and so for me using my platform as an athlete artist entertainer to to be able to shed more light than darkness so that's 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 what i have going on well we have we have 10 after school programs in the city of atlanta oh wow where we're teaching young people everything that they won't get in that traditional education system so it's really really cool so how do we connect with you oh everything is at stevie bags jr so my instagram snapchat twitter facebook my website is stevie bags jr okay one last question what are you looking forward to tonight i'm looking forward to seeing uh these ladies represent intellect I'm, I'm seeing i want to find out their intentions and i want to find out more importantly their inspiration of why they decided to be you know miss what black america atlanta that's it all right thank you so much thank you